Hello, everyone. All right, I am just going to pull up our live here so I can share it. How's everyone doing? It's Friday. It's Black Friday. <laughs> right? Who's out there buying all of their Christmas gifts today, getting some good sales on? Hopefully, you guys are uh, taking advantage of that. Um, I'm just going to be sharing our live here to a few groups. We're good. Okay, perfect. So I wanted to pop in here today and talk to you guys about how to attract people into your tribe just by being you. And you probably hear me talk about this all the time, you know, just being you and how if you're being authentically you, you're going to attract people. And sometimes we hear you know, we kind of hear that, right? Like authentically you, and it's kind of one of those overplayed words, not gonna lie. Um, and, but really what, like, let's get down to the deep part of this, right? We know that in order to effectively build our doTERRA businesses, we need to attract people into our space. So whether that be customers that we're attracting, business builders that we're attracting, but we're connecting with people, we're making relationships with people, we're, uh, you know, bringing people into this, into our world, into our zone and showing them what we can bring to the table, what it is that we have to offer. So I wanted to kind of leave something super simple with you guys today that you can sort of just take in and think about and think about how, how it is that you want to present your message to the world. Because it's so important to be clear on why you're here and who you're here to be. Because once people understand what who it is that you are and who it is that you are not, you will begin to attract all the right people. And it's important for you in order to grow in your doTERRA business to be working with the right people. All right, because that's what's gonna keep you energized, it's gonna keep you productive, it's gonna keep you motivated, it's gonna keep you excited, right? Is that you are connecting with the right people. So I wanna kind of give you an example of what I've created to talk about who I am and who I am not. So I actually have this on my website. So even when people want to work with me, they can understand, here it is, here it is, it's straight up. This is who I am and this is who I am not. And I'll tell you why. Because for years I was being somebody who I was not. I thought that in order for me to be successful at doTERRA, I had to look the part, right? I had to look like somebody who was like, you know, kind of the woo woo, natural, you know, no lashes, no nails done. You know, I, I love getting my nails done. Look, I've got my nails done right now in my little cheetah print, um, you know, <laughs> nail polish. But I thought if I'm going to be that person, people aren't going to trust me because they're going to think, wait, wait a second. Like, you know, she, still does these things and she's selling natural medicine like really and and so i was always being somebody that i wasn't and it felt so inauthentic to me and i felt like i was always trying to change who i was thinking that that was what was going to start attracting people because i always thought that people wanted to only be attracted to this type of person and what i was doing was i was comparing myself and i was looking at the presidential diamonds that have already achieved success i was looking at you know my uplines or you know the people who were on stage at convention or leadership and i was thinking okay how can i be more like them how can i be more like those people because they've already made it in this business and so the truth of the matter is is that the the way you're going to make it in this business and the way that you're going to have the most amount of success is by being so clear on who you are and being so clear on who you are not. And that includes what you're here to offer people, right? So some of the coaches that I absolutely love, like I love to follow are the ones that we even say to you, that's not my zone of genius, what you're looking for, but I have a referral for someone that I know would, would work so well with you. That's when you know that that person is in their role and they do their work for the right reasons, right? They're not just going to work with anyone. They're going to work with the right people. So here's an example of what I have on my website that clearly defines who I am and who I am not. So this is what I have. <laughs> this is what I have written. 
who I am. I put ideas into actions quickly and effectively so I can move people forward. I know I am here to make a mega impact. A stage is my playground and I am inspired by visions of the future for myself and others. I work hard to achieve huge results, not only for my own goals, but for those of my clients. I am a future forward thinker. I take charge and win others over with my contagious enthusiasm on the things I'm most passionate about, which ultimately is getting people results. I am able to do all of this while having harmony in my life's priorities and reclaiming freedom of time and energy. Who I am not is a therapist or social worker. I don't focus on fixing problems or sitting in other people's feelings or victim mentality. Instead, I use my positive energy, excitement and success mind map to create a new reality for people that focuses on their strengths and super skills to get them where they want to go. So how would that sound to you if you were looking for a specific type of person to work with and then you were able to see how they present themselves in terms of here's who I am and here's who I am not, right? Drop me a comment right now in this feed if you have ever sat down and gotten very clear on who you are and who you are not. Let me know if you've done this exercise before. And because I'll tell you, it, it is so empowering to be able to state, this is what you're getting from me, but this is what you're not gonna get, right? Because sometimes what we try to do is we try to be it all, right? So we're like, I love doing this stuff, and I feel like I also have to do this stuff. And when I do this stuff, I don't feel good. It feels icky, it feels draining, it feels de-energizing, but I guess I have to do it. Right. So, for example, I don't do mentor calls and I'm not telling everyone not to do mentor calls. I personally don't do them because what I was finding was in mentor calls, it was using my bottom strengths, restorative, right? Listening to people's problems and trying to come up with ways to fix them, thinking things over and over and again. And it was like this go with the flow adaptability type of like I had to sort of jive in them. I never knew what to expect, what was going to come up adaptabilities in my bottom five, right? De developers in my bottom five. And so I was using these low, low strengths to do these calls and I was feeling drained. And I was becoming a therapist for people. I was becoming a counselor for people. And I'm not good at that. What I'm good at is moving people forward. So if someone wants to get on a call with me, they have to have invested in doing their 34 strengths report. And the calls that I do are 100% focused on those 34 strengths. It's 100% focused on how do we get you to be the best version of yourself and avoid the things that drain you, avoid the things that put you in a place of being who you are not. So what I want to invite you to do today is I want to invite you to make, make a little statement, okay, of who I am and who I am not, just like I did for you right now, just like I sort of wrote out for you right now. And I can post mine in the comments as well if it's helpful to just sort of get an inspiration of how one is created. But what I did to create that report was I actually, when I created my Who Am I report, I just took my top 10. And I used the top 10 strengths that I have and put them into sort of a bundle statement. And then when I said who I am not, is I took my bottom five strengths and I put them into a bundle statement. Something that was powerful, something that really spoke to me, something that explained the things that would drain me. Okay, so, um, sorry, my comments are not working on here, so just one quick second. Um, anyways, okay, so I see the ones coming up in another group. Okay, so I just, um, I wanted to share that with you guys today because honestly, it is so powerful when you can bring yourself into that position and that strength and that confidence of letting the world know who you are because that is what starts to attract the right people, places, things, events, experiences that are gonna get you to your goal. So I want you to give that a go, I want you to give that a shot and I would love to see some dropped in the comments, I would love to see your here's who I am, here's who I am not statements and the more that you can get in tune with that, the more you are going to not only connect with the right people to be able to move forward with them as well as for yourself, um, but you're going to start letting go of some of the things that are on your plate that are 
bringing you into a place of de-energized kind of kind of that 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 space of man like i do not thrive here right which is what we want we want to identify where do we not thrive right and where am i my best self so hopefully that was helpful for you guys today just a little quick jump in live and uh but again drop me in the comments i want to see some of your here's who i am here's who i am not the more confident we can become in ourselves the more powerful we become and the more we start to attract the right things and the people and the experiences that are going to get us to where we want to go have an awesome black friday everybody and uh, hopefully you guys have a really great weekend and we'll see you soon all right bye